before we ask your questions, I wanted to, to say that, you know, we've heard about the mechanics. We've heard from some folks who would be directly affected and Dr. Madden and we'll, we'll answer any questions in a moment. But I wanted to say, you know, why we're doing this, there are, it, it's, it's unquestioned, it's unqualified. It's, it's, it's certain that people, that this will help people. Even the detractors admit that. When I talk with people who say, I'm against it because thus and so, they always say, you know, I agree. I, I know it's helped some people. So the question is whether we can lock it down well enough, and I think we have in this bill. Um, also, you know, JEVCO, which is the group of our veterans in Kentucky, the umbrella group, they've come together, and by a vote of 35 to 5, they've agreed, they've decided to support House Bill 136. And they do it because they know it's going to help their people, our veterans who fought for us, who fight for us. They do it because they know it helps PTSD, but it also helps, and we haven't said this yet, opioids in Kentucky. There are studies, one from a University of Kentucky professor published in the Journal of American Medical Association this summer that, show, that says in medical marijuana states, opioid addiction, overdoses go down. But more importantly, opioid, opioid prescriptions go down. So when doctors have the option, they're exercising that additional option rather than put people on opioids. And we all know, Representative Booker, that one of the major problems we have in Kentucky today is opioid addiction and overdoses. It has destroyed our families. It's put a hole in every community in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So we're doing this for those folks. When I'm, when I'm, and, it's, and it's left and it's right and it's old and it's young, it's brown and it's white. When, I, when I'm walking in the most wealthy area of Kentucky, in Anchorage, Kentucky, and I know, I, I remember the house and I remember the porch. I knock on a door and this 85-year-old man comes and we all have our charts, we know who we're talking to, 85-year-old Republican. He comes to the door and he sternly says, aren't you the guy pushing medical marijuana? And I thought to myself, okay, <laughs> I'm getting ready to defend myself. Mr. Chairman, he starts crying. And he says, let me tell you something, Jason, about my wife and her last few years on earth and how medical marijuana allowed her to get out of bed. And we do it for this guy. We do it for Cassie. We do it for Eric. But I'm at a fundraiser at a Catholic uh, private school, and this 40-something-year-old man comes up who's never seen me before in, my life, in, in, in our lives. He comes up and he said, I, I was shaken. I had to come talk to you and I want to thank you because I have MS and I can't get out of bed unless I take medical marijuana. Here's a man who has never met me before, who comes up to me and admits to being, to committing felonies to help himself so he can go to work and so he can be a father. And he says, I'm scared to death that my employer will know this and I'll get fired and I won't be able to take care of my family anymore. So I'm doing it for that 44, that 40 plus year old man. We're doing it for everyone here. The 85 year old man's wife obviously is dead now, but folks like them all over the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And as I walk the halls, it's hard for me to walk the halls today because the teachers, they were here. Glad, glad they were here with us. But it's, it's hard for me to walk the halls because I get stopped by LRC employees, by the dozens telling me that they use our own employees or somebody in their family to help, their, to help themselves and help their families. This is everywhere. And I, I would leave you with this, Representative Meeks. There but for the grace of God go I and go you. And if it were you or if it were your daughter or your son or your wife or your husband, what would you do? I've asked that question, but the real question is, what would you not do? The neurologist, Cassie's neurologist says, I want, I want this to happen for you. So she has to either go through in a way that her neurologist doesn't want her to, She's got to move out of Kentucky, leave our, her home. That's not who we are. Or she's got to commit a felony. That's not who we are. And that's what 136 is about. It's time to let the doctors decide. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.